What up peeps, Peep Sensor here. In this video, I'm about to show you some secret recipe that I use on my edits to give it a little flavor, a little salt and peppers, you know the vibe. Nice. Now, these things are not in order. You can do whatever you want first, but the first thing what I like to do is add some sort of dust overlay. As you could see in this video that I have right here, you could find this kind of overlay for free on the internet. Just go ahead and download from somewhere. Have the overlay all the way at the top or else it might not work and then go to the comp positing mode you could either select add or screen both of them should work but sometimes it just depends on your project one might look better choose whatever works best for you next we have in the list is the shake effects i basically put this in everywhere by the way you can use shake or dissolve shake but i'm using dissolve shake and i just drag it and drop it to the main layer so that way it is going to affect all the clips that's in that layer by adding this it gives your video a nice handheld camera shake and i really like that because people just like seeing stuff that floats than seeing a still image that doesn't even move and when it's moving it gives them more information to read you can see the example on the screen that's showing up right now and let me know which one you like better and here's my settings for the people who want to see how I did it. If you need to copy it down, copy it, pause the video and turn it into a preset because I'm about to go really fast. Moving into our next effects is flicker or flickering or also known as twitch I believe. Yeah so don't go too crazy on this. Just keep it very subtle. I'm using my own preset. You can copy it down if you want. Again just don't go too crazy on this. Try to use this very little as possible because you don't want to overpower it. And just in case you missed it, I did put this flicker effects on the main layer. It is going to affect all the clips that's in that layer. Here's my settings that I use in this. If you want to copy it down, do whatever you got to do, pause the video. And now the moment we've been waiting for, and this is the biggest one, it's called color grading. You might heard of this through different names like CC or LUT, LUT, and I use this in every single of my edits. And it completely changes the way your video looks. You could use color correction tool or lot filters or magic bullet looks in this video i'm using magic bullet looks as you can see i have it applied on my video here's how it looks before and here's how it looks after i have one more example for you on the left side without it on the right side with it you can see it has very nice color ring i don't know i like it and i hope you like it too because i use it all the time yeah those are the few things that i use on my edits to make it more spicier if you're still watching this video i am inviting you to join our discord you can find a link in the description below and as always peace, peace. Whoa, whoa, whoa.